Mei Mei. So today I'm going to show you how to make Mei Mei in red panda form from the movie Turning Red. It looks really good, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kuali Pops. My name is Sandra O, oh, and today we're going to be making a red panda cake for turning red. I just watched it, there's so many more red pandas than I was expecting. So we're gonna be making May, and I'm going to make this a double-sided cake. So it's a buttercream cake, but it's my first time I'm gonna be doing a two-sided buttercream cake. Her expressions are so cute, and I just couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, so I decided to do two. I am excited about this. We're gonna be using my PVC pipe stand. I've got my cakes ready, let's get to it. All right, so I'm starting with a six inch round cake and this is a vanilla cake with a little bit of chocolate and orange food coloring. I'm gonna add buttercream in between all of my layers. It's super cold, so it's gonna be a little hard to work with, but I'm only adding icing to the middle, so it shouldn't be too bad. Cold beans. So my next layer is my chocolate cake. It's just gonna be vanilla, chocolate, vanilla, chocolate. I had leftover chocolate batter, which is why I used it for my orange cake layer. So we got two six inch round cakes. I'm gonna add an eight inch round cake on top of that so that I can account for her arms because I know I'm gonna have to include that in my sculpt. So I'm just gonna keep repeating these steps until all of my cakes are stacked. So this is gonna go in the fridge to set up. I want the buttercream to harden a little more and then I'm gonna start carving this. So the first three cakes are gonna be her body and that eight inch cake really came in handy. I mean, I did cut a lot of it away, but it helped me understand the proportions of my character. Now the two cakes on top are gonna be Mei Mei's face. Now when I was happy with my sculpt, I gave my cake a crumb coat, placed it in the fridge, and started to add my final coat of buttercream. Just get it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Just make sure that you keep the integrity of all the shapes, like her arms and her legs. So this is our cake so far. I gave it a crumb coat. We have our final layer of buttercream and I started to really define the panda's expression. So I know where the hand is supposed to be. I know how the hand is gonna affect the cheek when it pushes it up. I'm gonna spend probably like, maybe like two, three more hours making sure that I get the facial expression on both sides right. After that, I'm gonna add the brown buttercream to create her arms and her legs, but that is probably gonna be one of the final things I do because I really wanna make sure that the face is done before I start adding all the other colors. Otherwise, it could get really messy. Now when I was happy with my sculpt, I smoothed down my buttercream as much as possible and then I carved out four holes so I could add four fondant eyeballs, two on each side. So here is our cake so far. I added fondant eyes to both sides and I think I'm finished with like the facial expression and all of the body details, except for the arms and the legs. Now I'm gonna be adding white and brown buttercream next, but before that, I'm gonna be using this shell fondant tool to create some fur texture, just by scratching the surface of my design. Now I added my white and brown buttercream and I did this slowly because I wanted to make sure I only got it in the places that I needed it. If even just a little bit smears on the orange buttercream, it's hard to take off. So I was really careful. Now after I added the brown and the white buttercream, I smoothed out the lumps, then added two fondant ears and a fondant nose. After that, I gave it the same texture as the rest of the cake and this is what we have so far. It's looking really good. It's looking really, really good. Now I added a medium brown and one thing I realized when I was adding this coat is that the brush stroke created the perfect fur texture. So I ended up just covering my entire cake in it. And it took so much time, especially since I already spent a lot of time creating the texture before, but it made a big difference. Now when I was finished with my sculpt, I finished Mamie's face. I just used fondant to create some eye color, some pupils, catch lights, a little bit of white fondant to create some teeth. And voila, my panda was complete. What do you think? It looks really good. <laughs> It looks really, really good. I'm so happy that I went back and redid all the texture. It looks so much closer to fur than what I originally had. 
I just love the expressions on her face. And going forward, I'm just gonna make sure that my characters emote more. With my Batman and my Catwoman cake, they kind of just have like a very like meh expression. But I want the future cakes to make you feel something. Another thing that I learned is that I need to use lighter buttercream. Working with the buttercream as much as I did, taking the cake in and out of the fridge made the buttercream so much darker than I had intended. So I'm gonna start my cake with two, three shades lighter next time. I think this side turned out better than this side. Kinda sucks because I wanted the happy side to be the best, but there's something about the way the nervous eyes look that I just think works better. Now I'm curious, what Disney character would you like to see me turn into a double-sided buttercream cake next? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of turning red. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Let's make Mei Mei. Now to create my Mei Mei Red Panda, I'm switching between vanilla and chocolate cake. I dyed my vanilla cake orange so that my yellow panda colors can be seen on the inside as well. Now I'm gonna use my first three layers of cake to create Mei Mei's body, and then the top two layers I'm gonna use to create her head. I'm just gonna carve the shape with a serrated knife that is way too big for this project, I know. And when I finished adding my crumb coats, part one of my Mei Mei cake was complete. I love this color orange. The orange buttercream that I used for a Mei, Mei it looks like a, the perfect pumpkin color. Damn, I wish it was Halloween already. Now one thing this cake taught me is that I need to start with a buttercream that's two to three shades lighter. Taking the cake in and out of the fridge to carve it, exposing the buttercream to the air makes it darker. And so this cake ended up being a lot darker than I wanted it to be. Lesson learned. I don't even need to finish its face, you guys, it looks so cute. When I was creating my Mei Mei cake, I kind of wanted to just stop. After sculpting my cake, it just looked like a really cute clay baby. Like a clay terracotta baby. Oh my gosh, I don't need to add eyes, I don't need to add anything else. This guy is ready to go, look at him, he's so cute. That little chubby face. Everything about this sculpt looks perfect as is, but you know what? I set out to make a red panda, so I gotta finish it. Be very careful when you're adding buttercream on top of buttercream. Before I added my white and brown buttercream to create the rest of Mei Mei's features, I made sure that the orange buttercream underneath had the perfect sculpt so that I could minimize the amount of discoloration on the first layer. It's not hard to do, but I have a hard time paying attention to things. <laughs> so I made sure I had laser focus when I was doing this. I love this movie! And I didn't think that I was going to be able to relate to the characters until they started fangirling over 4Town. Because I did that in the 90s. But instead of 4Town, it was BB Mac. Do you remember BB Mac? Until you're back here, baby. Oh my god, that song was so good. Every time they fangirled over their favorite band, it just brought me back to when I fangirled over my 90s artists. Do you guys remember John B? Or Jordan Knight? Oh my gosh, I'm going to start a 90s playlist right now. I love this movie, so I knew I was going to be celebrating it. My favorite character was Abby. Oh my, she's just a scene stealer. Whoever decided to make her aggressive and give her like RBF the entire movie, you need a promotion. It was just so entertaining to watch her say and do anything.